Naruto, the popular anime series, explores various philosophical themes that can be deeply insightful, one of the most prominent themes in Naruto is the concept of duality, the idea of good versus evil, and light versus dark, Naruto and Sasuke are two characters who represent these opposing forces. And their journey through the series demonstrates the importance of understanding and accepting both sides to achieve balance. The Inyang symbol, a key symbol in Eastern philosophy, is also reflected in Naruto's portrayal of duality. The show presents the interdependent nature of seemingly opposing forces and their ability to work together to create balance. Naruto embodies this philosophy by integrating both his light and dark sides, recognizing that his strength comes from accepting all aspects of himself. Another key philosophical theme in Naruto is the importance of community and connection, the series illustrates how Naruto overcomes numerous obstacles and challenges through his bonds with his friends and allies, through his interactions with others, he learns the value of teamwork, trust, and loyalty, these themes emphasize the power of collective effort over individualism, which is often praised in contemporary society, Naruto also teaches us about the power of determination and perseverance, regardless of how many times Naruto is knocked down. He always gets back up and keeps fighting, his unwavering spirit serves as a testament to the human capacity for resilience, this idea of perseverance is also reflected in the Japanese concept of genbaru, which means to persist or persevere in the face of adversity, however. Naruto is not without criticisms, one of the main criticisms of the show is its portrayal of certain characters and themes, some argue that the show reinforces negative stereotypes of certain cultures and promotes toxic masculinity, additionally. The series is often criticized for its pacing and numerous filler episodes that can be tedious for viewers, the animation quality of the show is also seen as inconsistent by some fans. It's essential to acknowledge these criticisms as they offer valuable insights into the potential flaws of the show, being critical of the media we consume can help us become more aware of the messages we receive and how they may affect us. Examining both the strengths and weaknesses of Naruto can help us become more discerning viewers and engage with media in a more critical and thoughtful way. Another important theme in Naruto is the idea of destiny and free will, throughout the show. Characters struggle with the concept of fate and whether they have control over their own lives, Naruto himself is often told that he is destined to be a failure and a troublemaker, but he refuses to accept this fate and works tirelessly to prove everyone wrong. This message of determination and agency is a powerful one, particularly for young audiences who may feel trapped by their circumstances, additionally, Naruto explores the idea of morality and the gray areas between good and evil. Characters such as Itachi and Nagato are initially presented as villains, but as the story unfolds, we see that their actions were motivated by complex and often tragic circumstances. This forces viewers to question their own preconceived notions of good and evil and consider the impact of their own actions on the world around them. While Naruto has many positive messages, it's important to acknowledge its criticisms as well. One of the main criticisms of the show is its portrayal of female characters, Many of the female characters in Naruto are sexualized and objectified, and their storylines are often sidelined in favor of male characters. This is a particularly glaring issue given the show's themes of community and teamwork, as it reinforces the idea that women are not as valuable or capable as men. Additionally, some have criticized the show's treatment of mental health issues. Characters such as Gara and Itachi struggle with mental illness but their conditions are often portrayed in a stigmatizing and harmful way, this reinforces harmful stereotypes about mental health and can be damaging for viewers who are struggling with their own mental health, despite its flaws. Naruto remains a beloved and influential series that has touched the lives of many viewers, its messages of determination, community, and agency continue to resonate with audiences around the world, and its impact on popular culture cannot be denied, by examining both its strengths and weaknesses. We can engage with Naruto in a more critical and thoughtful way, and use its lessons to become better and more compassionate people. In conclusion, Naruto is a complex and multifaceted show that offers numerous valuable philosophical lessons, nevertheless, it is not without its criticisms. The series provides valuable insights into the concepts of duality, community, and perseverance, but its flaws should not be overlooked, by examining both its strengths and weaknesses, we can become more discerning viewers and engage with media in a more critical and thoughtful way.